We're all set for another chapter in the wonderful history of clashes between the giants of Manchester. A warm welcome to Old Trafford from me, Guy Mowbray, alongside Sue Smith for commentary. Sue, this is always such an occasion. Oh, it is, and I'm certainly looking forward to this one. The atmosphere is absolutely brilliant. We've had some memorable games over the years, so let's hope we get some goals. It should be a good one, this. Fernandez and number 10, Marcus Rashford. Well, it seems that there's just about no way that any defender can stop Erling Haaland from scoring. What are we expecting to see from him today, Sue? Yeah, he's done really well since joining them. He's the club's top scorer. The fans seem to love him too. The defence are going to have to try and stop him somehow. Maybe restrict the supply line because he's deadly when he gets a chance in front of goal. Here's how Manchester United line up. Andre Onana is in goal. Lisandro Martinez starts alongside Victor Lindelof in central defence. Casimiro plays alongside Bruno Fernandes in central midfield. And they go with just one in attack. This is the Manchester City starting 11. Edison is between the posts. John Stone starts alongside Ruben Diaz in central defence. Matteo Kovacic starts alongside Rodri in the middle of the park. And the main man in attack is Erling Haaland. The ball is rolling. We're underway. Buenas noches a todos. Lamentablemente no hemos podido librarnos de la lluvia, que va a ser uno de los elementos a combatir en este partido. A mi lado, el único e inigualable DJ Mario encargado de los comentarios técnicos y en la narración, un servidor y grande. Hoy tenemos un bonito duelo de la Liga EA Sports. Por ahí está el Barça, que se las verá con el Real Madrid. Como siempre, aquí tienes a tu experto en tu juego favorito a tu lado para ayudarte en lo que pueda. Estoy deseando que empiece el partido. Saldrá el Barça. Entre palos estará Ter Stegen. Christensen en defensa con Kunde como líder de la zaga. Junto Gan en la zona del medio, junto a Frenkie de Jong como interior. Y arriba, Robert Lewandowski acudirá a su habitual cita con el gol. Veamos el esquema del Real Madrid para el día de hoy. Kepa ocupará la portería. Carvajal partirá desde la defensa con Fran García, que hará las funciones de lateral. El pajarito Valverde contribuirá con su energía junto a Jude Bellingham. El internacional brasileño Rodrigo apuntalará el ataque de inicio junto a José Lu. El balón ya está en juego después del saque inicial del Fútbol Club Barcelona. Se rinnova el apuntamiento con el Derby de Milano. Inter y Milan pronta a aspirarse aquí a San Siro. Con me, como siempre, en postazione. C'è Lele Adani. Gracias, Pierre. Y gracias, sobre todo, a cuantos han escogido que hoy de seguir con nosotros. Eh, esta partida que, de cierto, promete de no anoyarse. Tanti temi, i duelos incrociados, la rivalidad. 90 minutos de vivir todo de un fiato.
Milan che ha dovuto ripartire praticamente da zero dopo la chiusura di Berlusconi, i risultati non sono stati dei migliori, una lunga fase di transizione. Era difficile, se non addirittura impossibile, poter pensare di ricominciare e vincere già da subito, nonostante anche gli sforzi fatti dalla nuova proprietà per allestire una rosa competitiva. Questa è la line-up, la formazione di partenza scelta dal tecnico dell'Azzurro. Sommer tra i pali, dietro giocano Alessandro Bastoni, ecco la Cerbi, Marella insieme a Cialanoglu in mediana e due punte che dovrebbero essere i principali terminali della manovra. Bergia ci offre in grafica la formazione titolare del Milan per questo match. Vediamo per la porta. Loftus Cic insieme a Krunic nella zona centrale del campo. E Giroud, unico riferimento davanti. Inter che può gestire il primo pallone del match. Hallo und herzlich willkommen in der Red Bull Arena. Wir begrüßen Sie zum heutigen Spiel. Wolf Fuß und Frank Buschmann sind heute wie üblich Ihre Kommentatoren. Und heute übertragen wir Ihnen ein Spiel aus der Bundesliga. RB Leipzig gegen Bayern München. Das ist ein Spiel, das die Fans regelmäßig elektrisiert, das sie begeistert. Und auch für mich eine sehr, sehr interessante Partie. Bayern München war bisher in der laufenden Saison die Mannschaft mit den meisten Toren. Wenn du mit dem besten Sturm in so ein Auswärtsspiel gehst, dann ist natürlich immer die Frage, wie gehst du das an? Setzt du auf die Offensive? Dann gehst du eher zurückhalten? Bin sicher, sie werden auch heute wieder die perfekte Mischung gefunden haben. Man kennt das ja von ihnen. Bei allen Erfolgen des FC Bayern sticht ein Jahr dann doch besonders heraus, Buschi. Ja, das Trippeljahr 2013 und das ist dann der Fluch des Erfolgs, daran muss man sich messen lassen. Da haben wir die Aufstellung von RB Leipzig. Wir sehen bei Ihnen heute ein klassisches 4-4-2. Klassisch deshalb, weil da tatsächlich zwei Viererketten aufgestellt sind. Häufig wird äh, heute ja eher mit einer Raute gespielt oder in ganz anderen Formationen. Wie gucken wir das jetzt mal? Vorchecking, das ist natürlich eine ihrer wichtigsten Strategien. Ja, das beherrschen sie richtig gut. Da haben sie genau die richtigen Spieler. Da stimmt die Physis, das Spielverständnis. Aber das ist auch sehr kraftraubend, wenn du so spielst. Aber sie können das natürlich sehr, sehr gut. Das Spiel läuft. Die Bayern am Ball. Kimmich. Ich begrüße Sie heute aus dem Volksparkstadion, liebe Fußballfans. Herzlich willkommen zu diesem Spiel. Ihre Kommentatoren heißen natürlich auch heute wieder Wolf Fuß und Frank Buschmann. Und wir zeigen Ihnen jetzt eine Begegnung aus der zweiten Bundesliga. Hamburg SV gegen Schalke 04. Oh, ich glaube, das wird interessant heute. Die beiden im direkten Duell, das kann nur hochklassigen Fußball geben. Und so sieht die Startformation des Hamburger SV heute aus. Bei Ihnen wird heute sicher viel über die Außen gehen. Das bietet sich beim 4-3-3 an, vor allem wenn die Außenstürmer wirklich an der Linie draußen bleiben. Also sie wollen das Spiel breit machen. Hier sehen wir die heutige Aufstellung von Schalke 04. Marius Müller steht im Tor. Timo Baumgartel spielt neben Marcin Kaminski in der Verteidigung. Und der einzige Stürmer heißt in dieser Begegnung Sebastian Polter.
Wie schätzt du die Schalker derzeit ein, Buschi? Also wenn mir das bei einem Club schwerfällt, dann bei Schalke 04. Die Gelsenkirchener Königsblau sind ja in den letzten Jahren regelmäßig vor allem an den eigenen Erwartungen gescheitert. Dabei hat dieser Club ein so unfassbares Potenzial. Und damit läuft die erste Hälfte. Schalke 04 mit dem Anstoß. Quelle soirée incroyable en perspective. Nous sommes à Marseille, à l'Orange Vélodrome. Quelle chance vous avez. Oui, Omar et Benji, la team Dada qui vous fait vivre les plus grandes aventures. Et place à notre cher et tendre Ligue 1 Uber Eats avec un match qui s'annonce passionnant. L'Olympique de Marseille, Arnaud de PSG. Chaque match à vos côtés, c'est une nouvelle histoire à raconter, une nouvelle aventure, des nouvelles émotions. Surtout devant votre talon des commentateurs. La composition de l'OM, gardien de but Paolo Lopez, Renan Logi avec Jonathan Claus dans les couloirs, Kondogia sera accompagné de Valentin Rongier au milieu de terrain et en pointe Aubameyang. Côté parisien, voici le 11 qui débute. Donnarumma qu'on retrouve dans le but. Milan Skriniar avec Marquinhos en défense centrale. Ousmane Dembélé sera avec Kylian Mbappé sur les ailes. Et pour finir, il n'y aura qu'une seule pointe devant. C'est parti, l'Olympique de Marseille vient de donner le coup d'envoi de ce match. Salut tout le monde, les conditions climatiques sont idéales pour voir un bon match de foot. Ici, Benjamin Da Silva et à mes côtés, Omar Da Fonseca. Oui, l'homme qui a osé laisser sa carte de visite à Léo Messi. Et on retrouve tout de suite de la Ligue 2 BKT avec ce match. Et on sent l'ambiance monter peu à peu dans le stade. Une très belle fête ce match. On parle toujours beaucoup avant, pendant et après le match. Mais quand le ballon se met à rouler, l'émotion dépasse la raison. Et on va regarder la composition de cette formation. Dans les manuels de football, c'est ça le 4-3-3 conventionnel, avec deux vrais ailiers de chaque côté pour aller provoquer. Et on va découvrir le 11 de départ. Le 5-3-2, ça dit déjà une chose, la solution sera sur les côtés. Maintenant, avec ce système, tout est possible. Il va falloir bien occuper la profondeur. Allez, je vous souhaite un excellent match. C'est parti avec le coup d'envoi dans ce match. Hello from a city that really has been growing on the football front. Atlanta, Georgia, we're at the Mercedes-Benz Stadium. I'm Derek Ray and sharing commentary with me as usual is Stuart Robson. 
And very much looking forward to bringing you live action from MLS. It's Atlanta United and they face the New York Red Bulls. Well, thanks, Derek, as always. The scene is set, two good teams, a great playing surface and a vibrant atmosphere. It has all the ingredients for a really exciting game. And the starting 11 for Atlanta United. Well, it's a 4-5-1, but with three of the midfield players giving close support to the centre forward, and the other two sitting deeper. Also watch out for the fullbacks getting forward at every opportunity. They do like to get crosses into the box. Let's have a look at the initial 11 for the visitors. Well, for a while, everybody played with a 4-4-2, and it can still be a very good system. But it does rely very much on your front two getting the better of their markers and the wide midfield players being good in 1v1 situations. Let's hope they play it well today. Thank you, Mercedes-Benz Stadium. Enjoy the game. And the game begins. It is something very special indeed to make it to a UEFA Champions League final. Now these two teams are intent upon tasting glory. Welcome to the showpiece event on the European club calendar. Derek Ray here in the commentary position, joined tonight for live coverage by Stuart Robson. It's Newcastle United up against Bayern Munich. Well, Derek, it doesn't come any better than this, does it? This has the makings of an absolute classic. These are two brilliant teams, and at the moment, I can't separate them. alongside Bruno Guimaraes in central midfield and the striker today is Alexander Isak here's the initial 11 for Bayern Sven Ulreich begins between the posts Nusai and Masraoui plays with Alfonso Davies in the fullback positions. Leroy Zane plays with Kingsley Coman in the wide positions. And the responsibility of leading the line today goes to Harry Kane. And they're underway now in the Champions League final. We're about to find out which team... And this is it. The majority of fans are inside the stadium now and the tension is palpable here ahead of the UEFA Europa League final. My name is Derek Ray and with me in the commentary position is, of course, Stuart Robson. And we're just moments away from kickoff. It is Liverpool facing Bayer Leverkusen. 
Well, Derek, this should be a top-class game between two excellent teams. Whoever gets control of that midfield area should win the game, but I think this is too close to call. And this is how Liverpool will line up. Alisson gets the nod in goal. Andrew Robertson starts with Trent Alexander-Arnold in the fullback positions. And rather than use a strike partnership, they've gone with just the one player in attack. The lineup for Bayer Leverkusen. Lukas Radetzky is the goalkeeper. Jonathan Tarr plays alongside Edmond Tapsoba in central defence. And as for the attack, well, it has a bold look about it with three forwards listed from the beginning. It is the Europa League final, and they are underway. It has been all about getting to this stage, and two teams have made it. I'm Derek Ray, and I'm joined for commentary by Stuart Robson. We're just moments away from kickoff time in the UEFA Europa Conference League final. It's Fiorentina up against Aston Villa. Well, Derek, what a final this should be. Both these sides have played some great football to get here. I just hope we see them at their best today. This should be a great game. And a look at the lineup for Fiorentina. Arthur starts alongside Giacomo Bonaventura in central midfield. And in this tactical setup, they have just the one player in attack. Here's how the lineup looks for Aston Villa. Emilio Martinez is the goalkeeper. Matty Cash plays with Luca Dinia in the fullback positions. Douglas Luis plays alongside Bubakar Camara in the center of midfield. And so many different ways to configure an attack. In this case, it'll be two men up front. And the match is underway. And we are ready to go just about. Millions of viewers from all around the world are tuning in for the Super Cup decider. My name is Derek Ray here in the commentary position. I'm joined by Stuart Robson. And with the atmosphere building to fever pitch, we're inching ever closer to kickoff time. It is Manchester City and they take on Sevilla. Well, I have to say, Derek, I'm really looking forward to this. Both these sides did so well to win their respective cups. I think this should be close tonight.
And so they start at 11 for Manchester City. Ederson gets the nod in goal. Rodri plays with Mateo Kovacic in the centre of midfield. And lining up through the middle in attack today, Erling Haaland. And this is how Sevilla will line up. In goal, it's Marco Dimitrovic. Marcos Acuna plays with Jesus Navas in the fullback positions. Suso starts with Eric Lamela out wide. And the idea is to have just the one striker up there trying to pose problems for the opposition. In the battle for the UEFA Super Cup, they're underway now. Acá estamos, preparados para el plato más fuerte que el fútbol mundial puede presentar en esta jornada. La ansiada, la codiciada Conmebol Libertadores que se entrega hoy en este magnífico estadio. Un certamen que hemos visto desde el primer minuto hoy conocerá campeón. Ya quiero que comience. Fernando, ya estamos en la final de la Conmebol Libertadores y es el partido más importante de la temporada. Acá, un error y te quedas con el segundo puesto. Es una formación muy preparada para generar desgaste en el contrario, robar la pelota rápido, ¿no? Cuidado, Fernando, que saben presionar, no lo vamos a negar, pero se van a despedir en defensa y eso les puede traer problemas. Así saldrá la cancha el segundo equipo. Si hay ambición, pero sobre todo si hay voluntad para poder ir al ataque, esta formación se los permite. Creo que el técnico mismo, desde el dibujo, desde la pizarra, les ha dado licencia para ir a ofender al contrario. La primera parte, ya lo saben, díganlo en casa, una, dos. Que día especial para você ligado na tela da EA Sports, finalíssima da Comebol Sul-Americana. Eu sou Gustavo Milani, ao meu lado, nos comentários, Caio Ribeiro, falta pouco para o pontapé inicial. É Fortaleza contra a LDU de Quito. Acho que a gente tem que destacar a superação dessas duas equipes para chegar até aqui, na final da Comebol Sul-Americana. Não importa quem ganhe hoje, a taça vai estar tá em boas mãos e pode ter certeza que vai ser um jogaço. Um time com característica de marcação alta, Caio. É isso, apostam sempre no erro do time adversário. Jogando lá em cima, marcando forte e tentando roubar a bola para criar chances de gol. versáteis para funcionar lá na frente. Apita o árbitro. 
árbitro, bola rolando. Vamos nessa Todo final tiene un comienzo. El final de la espera da comienzo al arranque del partido que hoy tenemos ante todos ustedes. El primer partido de esta final seguro que ambos equipos van a dejar todo en la cancha para tratar de definirlo en este compromiso de hoy. Y tendremos que estar atentos al espectáculo que se avecina. Bueno, me imagino, Fernando, que el equipo habrá tomado planes para esta clase de partido, porque es el partido de ida pensando en lo que se viene después. Así que vamos a ver cómo comienza todo. Creo que es fácil definir que lo que este equipo va a querer es ir a apurar al rival ahí arriba, ir a apretarlo, defenderlo de una manera en la que tengan muy complicado el sacar limpio el balón, que los obligue o a asumir riesgos o a levantar la bocha. Así saldrá a la cancha el segundo equipo. Franco Armani se va a vestir de arquero. Enzo Pérez sale en el campo. Él saldrá con Nicolás de la Cruz en el medio. El único delantero para el equipo hoy será el venezolano Salomón Rondón. Se mueve el balón y ya lo saben. No ponemos la pila. Willkommen zu diesem heutigen Spiel, liebe Zuschauer. Ich begrüße Sie zum Finale. Wolf Fuß und Frank Buschmann werden Sie durch dieses mit Sicherheit spannende und vielleicht sogar dramatische Spiel begleiten. Borussia Dortmund gegen Bayern München. Ja, so ein Finale, das hat immer eine ganz eigene Atmosphäre. Unvergleichlich. Einer wird hier am Ende triumphieren und einer wird enttäuscht als Verlierer dastehen. Jubelszenen auf der einen, Niedergeschlagenheit auf der anderen Seite. So ist das nach einem Finale. Das macht den Reiz eines solchen Spiels aus. Und für uns als Zuschauer, Wolf, da kann es ja nichts Spannenderes geben. Ah nee, wir müssen ja kommentieren. Und so tritt der BVB heute also an. Ist schon eine undankbare Aufgabe, ne? gegen solche Konterspezialisten anzutreten. Absolut, das machen sie immer wieder perfekt. Die finden immer wieder die Lücke. Du kannst sie noch so stark hinten einstürmen. Sie bekommen immer wieder ihre Chancen. Was sie immer wieder schaffen, ist enormen Druck aufzubauen. Und das macht sie so erfolgreich. Damit kannst du jedem Gegner dein Spiel aufzwingen. Aber du bist natürlich auch anfällig. Darfst nie abschalten. Die Ära Jürgen Klopp, die ist in Dortmund unvergessen. Ja, das muss man sich wirklich noch mal vor Augen führen. Dortmund war fast weg vom Fenster und dann kam er 2008, der große Aufschwung, Meisterschaft, Double, UEFA Champions League Finale und ein Spielstil, der sich wirklich sehen lassen konnte. Es kann losgehen. Wir gehen rein in den Klassiker BVB gegen Bayern, die Creme de la Creme im deutschen Fußball, mehr geht nicht. Here we are, ready and in position. The entire season comes down to the next 90 minutes to decide who will be crowned champions. The atmosphere absolutely electric, and no doubt we'll get a game to match. It's the LA Galaxy, and they take on Los Angeles FC. Well, Derek, after months of hard work, it comes down to this. What great moments these are for the two sets of players. There'll be nerves, of course. Some players will be anxious, some may even freeze. But most, I hope, will be relishing the atmosphere and what lies ahead. It should be a cracker.
And here's the starting 11 for the LA Galaxy. Well, in this shape, if they're wide players, stay high up the pitch and get enough of the ball, it's a very attacking lineup. But if they drop too deep, they will then leave the centre forward isolated, and it could be difficult for them. Well, the wingers will be key here. They have to choose the right time to give width and the right time to come infield to support the centre forward. If they can do that, they're a potent front three. No doubt about that. And this confrontation is underway. A warm welcome on what is a perfect day to watch football. My name's Guy Mowbray, I'm joined by Sue Smith in the commentary position and hopefully we've got some goals and drama on the way. It's Manchester City and they take on Manchester United. Thanks Guy, I'm anticipating a good match today. It's important they get off to a good start, play their way into the game, be confident on the ball and hopefully we won't be disappointed. This is the Manchester City starting eleven. Yeah, they're playing a 4-3-3. One central striker with the wingers providing the width. A quite narrow three in midfield and then a back four where the full-backs, they're going to be expected to get up and down those flanks. Here's how Manchester United line up. It's a 4-5-1, or you could say a 4-2-3-1. This does offer plenty of threat going forward with the three behind the central striker. We may see the wide midfielders cut in and the full-backs push on while the defence is still protected from the two holding. rolling we're underway Salut à toutes et à tous bienvenue on est en direct du Groupama Stadium de Lyon Benjamin Da Silva Omar Da Fonseca c'est donc avec la team Dada dans les oreilles que vous allez passer les prochaines minutes au programme aujourd'hui ce match de D1 Arkema Lyon affronte le PSG la passion du jeu s'impose toujours pendant 90 minutes tous nos problèmes vont disparaître au profit du spectacle composition lyonnaise il n'y a pas de vérité tous les styles de jeu sont intéressants là on va avoir un style classique avec ce 4-3-3 pour le Paris Saint-Germain. Dans les manuels de football, c'est ça le 4-3-3 conventionnel. Voilà, c'est parti, le coup d'envoi.
Well, the weather forecaster has promised us an agreeable day for football, and that's exactly what we've got. My name is Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me in the commentary box, providing expert analysis, is Stuart Robson. And it's going to be fascinating to see how this NWSL contest unfolds. It's the San Diego Wave, and they take on Angel City FC. Thanks, Derek. Well, both managers will be reminding their players of starting the game quickly, hitting the opposition back, playing the ball forward, and regaining possession as quickly as possible. Hopefully, we get a really good game here. So the initial 11 for the home side. Well, in this 4-5-1 shape, it will be interesting to see how close the wide midfield players get to their main striker. Will they stay wide or play through the inside right and inside left positions? We'll have to wait to see how it develops. This is how the visitors will set up today. Well, they're matching up here, so midfield domination will be key to winning this game. If they can manage that, it will then allow their fullbacks to join their attack in play. And now they get the ball rolling. And it all comes down to this. The final of the UEFA Women's Champions League. How's it going to go, Stuart? Well, it's been a long journey for both these teams, Derek. It's not been easy, but these players are 90 minutes away from making history for themselves. No doubt both managers will have set out their game plans and made sure every player knows exactly what their roles are. What a game we have in store for us. Today. Will they stay high and wide? Will they come in field and support the centre forward? And how deep will they come out of possession? They're going to be key to this formation. And here's how it looks for Chelsea. Yeah, the same formation and the same sort of game plan. So this will all be about which individuals can get the better of their opponent. This will be a tough battle. Welcome to Celtic Park in the east end of Glasgow. My name's Guy Mowbray, delighted to be joined by Sue Smith for commentary. And with the atmosphere building up nicely, what a match this promises to be. It's Celtic, and they take on Barcelona. Cheers, Guy. Well, I'm sure both managers will have given them the final instructions 
go out and give it their all. Hopefully, that'll be enough for a positive result. I'm looking forward to this one. Here's the Celtic team sheet. Yeah, it's a 4-5-1, but it will morph into a 4-2-3-1. The single centre-forward will be supported by the number 10, and you'd expect them to rotate and swap positions just to try and drag defenders out. The wide midfielders, they'll offer a threat in behind. This is the Barcelona team sheet. Marc-André Testegen is in goal. Andreas Christensen plays alongside Jules Koundé in the centre-back positions. Ilkay Gundogan plays alongside Frenkie de Jong in central midfield. And leading the line is Robert Lewandowski. And with that, the first half is underway. 